Put it down. You need the belt because they're coming to hear a championship fight. People want to go. They want to, yeah. That's, that's, why, that's why they made so many belts, make cool. more money. Imagine a guy like Kenny Armstrong. He got three of the belts simultaneously. Now what do you got to do? Come down and fight? Kept going like this. That didn't make sense. Yeah, you, you just don't know. I've never seen a 57-year-old fighter up in the ring, you know, against a strong guy, a strong bull like Jake Paul. I think it'll be sad for Tyson, you know. Love him or hate him, Jake Paul continues to attract attention in the boxing world, and he is set for his biggest fight yet, as he will do battle with the legendary Iron Mike Tyson in a controversial boxing match. Due to the risks of both fighters potentially getting seriously hurt, many fans have expected it to be an exhibition match, including Tyson himself. But Roy Jones Jr. insists this is not actually the case. Jones Jr. told The Lunch Club, the Jake Paul vs. Mike Tyson fight is not an exhibition. I've heard it's been upgraded to a fight. If it's a fight, it's very intriguing how it may turn out because Jake Paul has gotten a lot better as a boxer over the days. But Mike Tyson, even at 58 or however old he is, is still Mike Tyson. The former heavyweight, who last fought in 2020 against Jones Jr., will need to ensure he submits acceptable electroencephalogram, EEG, and an electrocardiogram, EKG results, or the bout could be banned. But in any case, Tyson is eager to fight and he only has good words to say about Paul, although he did threaten to beat him inside the ring, regardless of whether it's at professional or exhibition level. Tyson said to media, I'm very much looking forward to stepping into the ring with Jake Paul at the AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. He's grown significantly as a boxer over the years, so it will be a lot of fun to see what the will and ambition of a kid can do with the experience and aptitude of a goat. It's a full circle moment that will be beyond thrilling to watch, as I started him on his boxing journey on the undercard of my fight with Roy Jones and now I plan to finish him. Andre Ward recently discussed his thoughts on the impending fight with Fight Hub TV. He said, I don't know man, it's a spectacle. I'm going to watch it. I don't know. I see people on both sides like Mike shouldn't be in there. Maybe not. But if there's a 56 or 58 year old that I'm not too concerned about, it's probably Mike Tyson. But it is risky. Mike's life is risky. It's been risky since he was a kid until now. Boxing is risky. Ward expressed ambivalence about Tyson's match, acknowledging his pursuit of a lucrative payday, despite his ambivalence about his stance on the matter. Ward went on to add, how are you going to tell a man that's hardwired the way he's Mike Tyson? You can't tell him he ain't got a shot in that fight. So I don't really know where I stand on it. I'm going to watch it. Andre Ward expressed interest in observing Jake Paul and his team's strategic selection of larger names, despite not being well-versed in the situation, based on rumors. Ward said, And then for Jake Paul, it's like Jake and his team are being strategic, picking the right names, and he keeps picking bigger and bigger names, so it's going to be interesting. I don't know too much about that. I've heard rumors about that. I hope that's not true. I love both guys. Ward expressed hope for resolution of their issues, stating that victories can conceal many problems, while losses tend to reveal them. Ward added, I hope they can find a way to work it out. But just like wins cover a multitude of sins and problems, losses expose a lot of stuff. So I wouldn't be shocked or surprised, because I know how this game goes, but I just hope it's not true. Jake Paul faces controversy due to a 30-year age difference, with Mike Perry, a bare-knuckle boxing champion, threatening a street fight, despite the potential electrifying spectacle for fans worldwide. Jake Paul, man, if he hurts Mike Tyson, bro, let me get that, bro. And he's not coming to bare knuckle. That's the thing, though. Right. That's the thing, right? You don't these, think he would do it. These guys, so who wants to come bare knuckle with me? You know, the, <clears throat> shout out to MVP, man. We had a heck of a matchup. Heck of a fight. Yeah, I fun. loved it, that. Perry expressed his desire to face Paul if he hurts Mike Tyson, acknowledging that Jake might not engage in bare knuckle boxing, given Paul's history of taking on challenges people might assume he's afraid of that people would say that he's afraid of and right. things like that. And that's partly what drew me to Bare Knuckle was mm. that so many were worried about it or afraid yeah. of it. And I'm like, it seems real to me. So Jake, man, definitely issue you a challenge. If you get through Mike Tyson, test yourself for real and let's have a street fight. Perry challenged Jake Paul to a street fight if he defeats Mike Tyson. Perry and Paul have previously sparred, acknowledging Paul's talent in the boxing ring. Perry believes Paul should prove himself by accepting Perry's challenge for a raw, real context. He said in another interview, 
Jake. He's got some, but I'd like to say I'm beating him as fast as he's beating these taxi drivers. Especially bare knuckle, I'll hurt him, and he'll cry and run away and cower in the corner in the fetal position. Oscar De La Hoya expressed concern about Jake Paul's commitment to the sport, stating that choosing Tyson as his opponent could undermine his aspirations to capture a world title. Yeah, I just, I just feel that, I mean, I grew up with Tyson, so it's, it's, to me, it's like, man. You know, hopefully stay safe up there. Moreover, De La Hoya raised questions about the impact on Jake Paul's career if Tyson were to step into the ring at 58 years old. He said, It's not going to be dangerous for Tyson because Tyson's been in the ring with monsters. He has a chin. He can still go six rounds, seven rounds, eight rounds, you know. But I'm just concerned about Tyson's legacy. Oscar De La Hoya expressed concerns about Tyson's well-being and the potential for Paul to deliver a knockout blow during the upcoming match. He stated, You just don't know. I've never seen a 57-year-old fighter in the ring against a strong guy, a strong bull like Jake Paul. I think it will be sad for Tyson. Hopefully, he stays safe up there. That's it. Oscar De La Hoya, recognizing Jake Paul's potential as a future world champion, wasn't entirely supportive. When questioned about the potential danger to Mike in the upcoming fight, De La Hoya remained skeptical. Um, I'm not sure how or which way it affects boxing because I think a lot of eyeballs are going to be watching. And you know, it's like it's like they say, right? I mean, hey, it, it's 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 like you know, good media or bad media, it's still media, right? Mike Tyson has just revealed the inside details of his training camp ahead of his fight with Jake Paul, and it appears that things are getting more intense with every passing day. Well, listen, I just think um, somebody wanted to hit something. I think that's amazing. For a long period of time, they never did this before. Because some people hit the bag, they never had a fight in their life. Mm -hmm. You know, but it breaks a lot of tension, I believe. I, I like hitting the bag. I like um, having my kids, I like teaching them how to hit the bag. Former boxer Kenny Rainford believes Tyson will defeat Paul despite health concerns, acknowledging the boxing community's concerns but expressing confidence in Tyson's success. Rainford said, He's lived hard and trained hard and he's doing that now. Jake Paul hasn't been hit by a heavyweight. He struggled against Tommy Fury at cruiserweight. The problem will be when Tyson hits him. Rainford noted Tyson's age and deteriorating engine, while highlighting Paul's sharpness and quickness. He warned Mike to swiftly remove Paul from the situation, as prolonged confinement would result in increased punishment for him. Rainford added, Tyson still got the age against him and the engine isn't what it once was. You can't take away natural youth. Paul is quite sharp himself and quick. Mike is going to have to get Paul out of there double quick. The longer it lasts, the more punishment he'll face. Rainford predicted Tyson to defeat him in two, three rounds, with Paul potentially winning on points or potentially stopping him late on. Rainford said, You can't ignore the age and I can see it from both sides. I can see Tyson doing him in two or three rounds and I can see Paul winning on points or potentially stopping him late on. I predict Tyson will stop him inside three rounds. Mike Tyson, who hasn't fought in a ring in 19 years, is set to return later this year, and his latest training footage reveals the challenges for Jake. A leak of Mike Tyson's training video shows him practicing the Kuz D'Amato technique, created for iron, preparing for a bout with Jake Paul, reminiscent of his earlier intimidating ring presence. Mike Tyson was comparatively short when he made his heavyweight boxing debut. For this reason, Iron Mike's trainer, Kus D'Amato, created a unique technique for him. Tyson was able to dodge blows, get closer to the target, and score punches on the opposition thanks to his well-known peekaboo technique. Tyson, a 57-year-old boxer, showcased his peekaboo technique in his training videos before his July 20th fight, avoiding blows and launching bombs. <laughs> Whoa! 
Mike. Nice one. Tyson can be seen striking the bag in the other video. He can be seen executing a three-punch combination that includes a left hook, a cross, and a jab. Tyson appears exhausted despite the sound of the glove slamming against the bag. The 57-year-old is also not quite as flexible as he once was, but fans still think he is going to slam Jake Paul in the ring. Former middleweight champion Michael Bisping, who is currently the UFC's color commentator, did not take long to voice his displeasure with what he has seen recently. Addressing Jake Paul for fighting Mike Tyson, he said, You should be ashamed of yourself. And the biggest joke is, you don't even slightly realize why. Further remarks from Bisping criticized the decision to pursue a bout with a 57-year-old great such as Tyson, particularly during one's prime. In such cases, he called for an end to the claims of being a legit boxer. He added, Nah, fair play to Tyson, hope he makes a shitload of dough. But what self-respecting fighter seeks out a contest with a 57-year-old legend when they are in their absolute prime? Make money, fair play, but stop with the legit boxer talk and fair play to Netflix. It'll be a huge success. Everyone will make money, but the child has made lots of money. At what point is it enough? And try and get some respect as a fighter. Not hating, it just goes against the definition of the word fighter. It is clear that Bisping disagrees with Paul, and his viewpoint is valid. The claims made by Bisping were true, and he's not the only one who thinks so. A number of other UFC competitors also chimed in to question Paul. Renato Moicano has tweeted several times about the impending fight, showing that he is really concerned for Tyson's welfare. He tweeted, Man, if Jake Paul is really fighting Mike Tyson, we as fight fans should riot. Absolutely disgusting. In addition, Renato shared another tweet. The possibility of one of the greatest boxers of all time dying in a ring is real. Strange times. A YouTuber can kill a legend on the ring. Alan Juban shares a heartfelt concern for Tyson. He tweeted, What world are we living in? Jake always talks about helping UFC fighters pay and making boxing great again, but then just always looks to exploit the older fighters for his gain. There's no respect anymore for lines not to be crossed. Furthermore, doctors strongly advise Mike Tyson to reevaluate his decision to fight Jake Paul, citing worries about internal bleeding that can worsen and result in a cardiac attack. Dr. Stephen Hughes shared his thoughts on the various risks Tyson faces in his rematch bout in a recent essay for The Conversation. He said, In older people, the brain tends to lose volume. This lengthens the bridging veins and makes them more vulnerable to rupture. Bleeding from these torn veins causes a collection of blood that presses on the brain. This causes confusion, loss of consciousness, neurological disability, and, in some cases, death. Senior lecturer in medicine at Anglia Ruskin University, Hughes, expresses concern over Tyson's potential cerebral vein rupture and alcohol-related risk highlighting the danger of this fight. He said, Alcoholism is known to accelerate brain shrinkage, and it appears that Tyson has this as a past risk factor. However, we should note that Mike Tyson's trainer, Rafael Cordero, has allayed fears of his brain damage and said that he knows how to fight, and nobody should train him. And uh, he knows how to fight. He fought against the best guys in the world. When he steps inside the ring, he knows what to do. There's no something new for Mike. And this fight is no different. He worked hard every single day to go there and try his best to knock Jake out since the beginning to the end. This is his style. Nobody has to teach Mike. Nobody has to teach Mike Tyson how to how to fight. Moreover, Rafael Cordero told fans not to worry about Tyson's well-being. I, I believe people don't have to be concerned about. They talk about the guy who was two times world champ. The guy didn't have 20 fights in two years. So that's all from today. Remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos.